Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to hopefully speed up your internet on your Windows 10 device. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, on today's video we're going to be trying to fix the problem that a lot of us have had with Windows 10 and very, very slow internet. Now this has been a problem which has been reported by Microsoft which has been part of some of the latest updates and also affects users that are using a VPN service. So if you're using a VPN and you're struggling to get any bandwidth or you have severely restricted bandwidth then this fix may be suitable for you. Now this won't fix all problems but certainly with the amount of Windows updates recently which have caused issues with internet and slow speeds that kind of thing definitely worth a try. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to install it, where to find it and see if it actually works. Okay, so I've put the information into a notepad document, which uh, I'll put the details in the video description so you can check it out down there. But essentially what you want to do is go to https colon forward slash forward slash www.catalog.update.windows.com. So you can copy and paste that from the description in the video. And all you need to do is open up a browser. So we're going to open up Chrome and we can paste and go to that website. So this is the Microsoft Update Catalog. So this is where pretty much all the Windows updates and software updates have been for the last God knows how many years. And you can search for individual updates. And knowledge bases or updates are all numbered. And the one that we've got on this one is knowledge base version 4554364. Now you won't be able to find this at the moment on Windows Update if you try and do a Windows Update manually from your system using the control panel. So you do have to actually search this one out yourself because it hasn't been officially released. This is, is what is known as a out of band update or OOB update. So let's paste that into our knowledge base catalog search and click search. And there we go, there are all the updates. So as you can see, this was released on the 30th of the 3rd. So uh, depending on when you're watching this, this may be quite recent. Obviously, this is a time sensitive video. So if you're watching this a little bit later on, this may not do the trick for you and Windows Update may have already fixed it. So like I said, this is time sensitive. Also, Microsoft is saying that if uh, you don't run a VPN, this may not be the solution for you. So obviously do take that on board. So. This is for versions uh, 1903 and later, and you can see the different versions we've got. So we've got an x64 based system, we've got x86, so if you've got a 32-bit system, you can use this one. If it's a 64-bit system, use this one. Also, if you're using an ARM processor in uh, mobile devices, then these are the ones for you. And if you're using Windows Server, then there's some options also down here. But obviously, do get the one for your system. Now, I'm using AMD64 chip, so I'm going to be going for this one at the top. So all you need to do is click on the download button and it will open up an additional window and then click on the link here and then you can download it to your normal download location. Now as you can see to save time I've actually downloaded this already so I'm not going to go and really download it because my internet is pretty poor at the moment. So I'm going to cancel that but in your instances click on save and wait till the file downloads. So when the file is downloaded, you can close down all your windows and go to your download location. Now mine is in downloads. And all you need to do is with the file, look for the one that says Microsoft Update and look for the relevant date and then just double click it. And then it will start preparing the installation. Now this is doing effectively what would normally be done in the background when you run your normal automated Windows updates. But like I said, because this is a out of band update, then you do have to do it manually. Now we get this information saying, do you want to install the following Windows software update? Update for Windows, knowledge base 4554364. And yes, we do, we wanna give it a go. Now actually, before you do this, it is worth bearing in mind, this may not be the fix for you and may actually cause more problems. So do take a backup of your system before you do this. If you wanna do any backups, there is a link in the video description. And also if you click on the card at the top, which will take you to the Macrium Reflect software video we did a little while back. So do click on that and do a backup if you haven't already. So if you're saying all that, if you've done all that, click on yes. And then it will start copying the packages into your Windows Update cache. Okay, so once that's gone through and done what it needs to do, it will come up with the message saying installation complete and you must restart your computer for the, deck, for the updates to take effect, as is normally the case with most Windows updates. 
So you've got the option to either close or restart now. So I'm going to close this down so I can actually stop OBS. Then I'm going to do a restart and we'll see what the internet's like. Okay, so we've done a restart and the internet still seems to be working absolutely fine and the pages actually seem to be opening a little bit quicker. So if we go to UK Hot Deals, this actually does seem a little bit snappier. Now obviously it may or may not improve your internet speeds on your own particular device, but again, uh, proof is in the pudding. If for any reason you do find issues with it and you don't uh, get on with it or it makes things worse for you, then what you can do if you go into Windows and go into Settings, so click on the Settings cog, go to Updates and Security, and then if you go to View Update History, we get the option here that shows you the update. So this was the Knowledge Base 4554364, which we just recently installed. And if you want to get rid of that, all you do is click on Uninstall Updates, and you can choose from your list of updates. So as you can see there, we've got the one update for Microsoft Windows, Knowledge Base 4554364, and you can just choose that and then remove it. So click on Uninstall. You can go through the process. It will revert back to the previous version, and uh, yeah, you should all be good. So there we go, there is the latest hotfix from Windows, the out of order update. So if you do have problems with your internet service or you're finding VPN services are being exceptionally slow, this is definitely worth a look. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, feel free to put them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll be catching you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.